okay. Thank you, guys. So let's continue. Sorry for uh, that. So let's continue with the vocabulary that we have been studying. It's related to daily routines, right? Look at this. Um, we're practicing uh, these uh, five examples. Get up, get dressed, brush my teeth, comb or brush my hair, and shave. Let's see. Danielle, could you repeat them, please? Danielle? Okay. Get up, get dressed, brush my teeth, comb, brush my hair, shave. Okay. Brush. Brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. And I brush my hair. Okay. Brush my hair. Thank you, Daniel. Let's continue. And we have some more activities. Look like at this. Um, probably, ladies, do you put on makeup? Do you? Chicas, do you put on makeup? Yes, no, Dora? Put on makeup. Uh huh. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Do you put on makeup? Put on makeup. Usan ustedes uh, maquillaje, ladies? Yes, no, sometimes. So, so. <laughs> not always. Okay, so that's not important. Okay. Number seven, eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Come home. Come home. And be careful with this breakfast, right? Breakfast. Because we have the verb, which is break. Okay but in this case breakfast okay break it's something else break and this is breakfast breakfast mm -hmm. it, it is pronounced different differently uh eat breakfast come home come home what's the meaning for come home ideas come home come home come home mm -hmm. venir come home a la casa Mm -hmm. Okay, make dinner, make dinner. Cena. Uh -huh. Hacer. Como cena. La cena. Hacer la cena. La cena. So do you make dinner at 7.30 before the English class? Yes, no? no. no. Yes, no? Do you cook before uh, the class? Cocinan antes de, de la clase? Do you eat? Do you eat dinner or do you make dinner? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. Of course, of course right? Que pregunta, es una pregunta. <laughs> okay. Um, study. I think, I suppose that you study after the class, right? Study. Study. Okay. Again, put on makeup. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Makeup. Um, makeup. Makeup. Up. Makeup. Makeup. Up. Okay, put on makeup, eat breakfast, come home, make dinner, study, and let's continue with the next one. Watch TV. Watch TV. Do you like watch TV? Watch TV? Yes. Do you watch TV after the class? Yes, no? Bill. Uh huh. Do you watch, watch TV after class or before class? ¿Quién ve televisión antes o después de la clase? Do you watch TV, guys? Tell me. Dora, do you watch TV after? After, after class? After. Ah, okay. Yes. yes. Alvin, how about you, Johnny? No. Do you watch TV after class? No. No. And before class? I never watch TV. You never no. watch TV. How about YouTube? YouTube videos, TikTok, no? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> but you see TikTok. <laughs> okay. Get undressed. So this is the opposite. Get undressed. So the previous one was get dressed, vestirse. How about this one? Get undressed. That's vestirse, right? Get undressed. Get undressed. Take a shower and take a bath. So taking a shower, it's uh, right? Con la regadera and take a bath. It's un baño de burbujas ahí en la pila con llena de head and shoulder. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> and that's optional. You can use any other. 
puede utilizar cualquier otro. <laughs> ok. Ok. So that's the difference. Uh, take a shower or take a bath. And uh, the next one that we have is go to go bed. To go to bed. bed. Mm -hmm. So it means that in the, uh -huh, in the morning, um, I sometimes put on makeup and I eat breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Later, I come home at around noon, at around 12, let's say. And um, in the evening, I make dinner at about 7.30 before my English class. And I study at around, what time? Eight o'clock, right? So we study at around eight o'clock. Some people, somebody said that he watches TV and some others uh, don't, right? And well, after a really tire, tiring day, I get undressed and I take a bath. Finally, I go to bed, right? So this could be, these are some examples of uh, day, some daily routines, right? Let's see, um, Johnny, Johnny, please, could you read um, these, um, these activities from number six to 14? Okay, uh, put on makeup, eat a breakfast, come home, make dinner, study, watch TV, get undressed, take a shower, take a bath, and go to bed. And go to bed. Okay, thank you. So now let's continue. So guys, we're gonna be checking some um, some activities related to um to our manual. Okay, so this is going to appear in that place. Okay, on your manuals. So we have some occupations over here, and we're gonna listen to uh, well. To the teacher, read the following job positions, and then match them with the activities they perform. So look at this. Uh, we're gonna observe um, the following occupations. Number one, bookkeeper, bookkeeper, and we're gonna uh, check what is that, right? Bookkeeper, what's that? Let's see what do we have. So here we have uh, some information related to this occupation. So what is a bookkeeper? Do you remember any idea? What is that? What is a bookkeeper? Ideas, chicos, what is a bookkeeper? Let's see, I'm gonna give you a clue. It's especialist in recursos humanos. Marking digital. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you're you're doing something in advance. Okay, but a bookkeeper, it's an auxiliar contable. So that's a um, contable. So that's a bookkeeper. Let's look at some activity that he or she does. So, and number one says record financial transactions, update and maintain financial records, manage accounts using specialized software, and track a company income and expenditures. So basically, the, his or her activities are related to this, right? To, um, let's say, uh, keeping track of the transactions, incomes, and expenditures. Entonces, lleva un registro ¿verdad? financiero de transacciones, maneja las cuentas. And, well, that's, that's basically a bookkeeper, right? And he probably doesn't have, um, let's say, a profession, but he probably has, um, uh, let's say, uh, two years. Uh, okay. Think, uh, yeah, he, a bookkeeper is a technical, right? A, te a technician, let's say. And we continue with the next one, financial analyst. And uh, what is the role of a financial analyst? Provide analytical support, perform financial reporting and forecasting, guide cost analysis processes, and look at the skills that he or she may uh, need, right? Que habilidades necesita? Strong knowledge of the corporate finance, high proficiency in financial modeling techniques and quality management. What is the background? ¿Qué necesitamos? ¿Cuál es el perfil? Right? A bachelor's degree in mathematics, statistics, finance, economics, accounting, 
or a related field. And besides that, you, it's needed to have a master's degree or additional certifications may be required. Look at the salary, a junior, an average, and a senior. So 5,000, five, let's see, $51,000. So it sounds really good, right? Se ve bastante atractivo. So would you like to be a financial analyst? ¿Te gustaría ser analista financiero, chicos? Probably, right? Okay. So now let's continue with the next. Uh -huh. It's we so have... complicated. It's a little bit complicated, right? Because of the skills. Exige demasiado, right? Oh, well, the needed. Human resources specialist. So what is a human resources specialist? So this person is in charge of, um, well, these are the functions that he or, uh, she may need. Um, administration, recruiting and staffing, health and safety, in training and development, compensations and benefits. So he's in charge, right, of uh, making sure that you have the benefits that you are supposed to have and diversity and inclusion, right? So he or she may be in charge of hiring people with, um, well, with different ideas, right? And look, let's continue with the next one, a digital marketing manager. So skill required to become a digital marketing manager, visual advertising, content marketing plan, social media marketing expertise. So you need experience, right? Search engine marketing, entrepreneurial skill, and a strong analytical skill. Well, if you're creative, so I think this won't be a problem. So that's a digital marketing manager. So he or she is in charge of, uh, let's say advertising, right? Something through the social media. And let's continue with the next one, an insurance agent. So these are some questions that you um, make or that you ask when you, um, when you um, talk to an insurance agent, right? <clears throat> Look at this, ask nine questions to your agent or say no. Ask the insurance agent to show his insurance agent license, right? Do I need a life insurance? policy. What are the three different types of life insurance policies? Why is the, this insurance policy good for me? Porque es bueno este seguro para mí, un agente de seguros. So do I need that? Why? Right? How long has the company been insur in insurance business? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha uh, estado la empresa ¿verdad? dedicándose a ese rubro? And how much life insurance cover do I need? What does my policy cover? Que cubre la policía, right? Y que es lo que no cubre. So it's the premium flexible. And should I add the riders to increase coverage? So these are some common questions that you ask in order when you want to get a life insurance, right? So an insurance agent, it's in charge of doing this, right? And making sure that you get the, the right policies, but we need to be careful with that. Okay, so now, and we have the last one, software engineer. So what is what are the activities that he or she does? Um, let's start with the first one, implementation, testing, development, programming with different, uh, let's say, languages like Python or any other analyze and design. So that's a software engineer. So these are some of the activities that he or she does, okay? So let's go to the beginning. We have bookkeeper, financial analyst, human resources specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, and software engineer. So now I'm gonna sign you to, okay. So now we will continue, we're gonna skip this part, and we will continue with a review of the tense that we have been studying so far. So you give me a couple of seconds. 
Let me see. Okay. So let me know if you can see lesson one, explore. That's it? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna yes. be studying a little bit about the simple present, but we're gonna be checking some readings, right? So read the article about Dr. Box, notice the words in bold, okay? So we're gonna analyze the verbs, right? And you're gonna tell me what's the meaning. So vamos a ver las palabras ahí que están marcadas en negrito. Dr. Box, um, let's see, um, Daniel, please help us with the first paragraph. This one. Most people don't like books. The but Dr. Mark Moffat loves them. In fact, his nickname is Dr. Buck. He's a photographer and, and an entomologist. And entomologist studies back. Okay. So where box? Any idea, box? Look at this. What is this? The insectos. Um, <laughs> insectos. Insectos, right? So the box. Okay. So look at this. Most Un people investigador like... de insectos. Yes, right? La so like he la... loves. Okay. He loves doing that, right? In fact, his nickname is Dr. Box. And he's, what is his occupation? Photographer. He's a photographer. A uh -huh, photographer and an entomologist. An entomologist. Uh huh. So what is uh, what does this uh, um let's say activity refers to? ¿A qué se refiere esta actividad? Eh, los insectos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Estudiar. <laughs> Estudiar. Los insectos. Okay. Insecto. So would you like to study that? ¿Le gustaría estudiar eso? <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Johnny, please help us. Second paragraph. Dr. Muffin's favorite box is the end. He goes all over the world to study ants. He watches ten a day eat, work, rest, sleep, and fight. Interesting. He has a routine, right? Mm. So will you do this, Larian? Uh, will you do this activity, Larian? Is that Johnny? Would you do this activity? What is this activity, Johnny? He watches them. He watches and what is an end? And uh -huh. ant or me? Ant or me? So look at this. He goes all over the world to study ants. He watches them as they eat, work rest, sleep, and fight. So he observes everything. Okay. Imagine, uh -huh, imagine being paid for doing that. Imagine que les paguen por eso. <laughs> yeah, not here in El Salvador, right? <laughs> You're happy. <laughs> Mm. Okay, let's see. Um, Dora, please help us with the next paragraph. He takes photographs of the ants. He lies on the ground with his camera and waits for the right moment. The ants and other bugs often bite him. But that continue. But that doesn't stop Dr. Buzz. He has an interesting and unusual job. Mm -hmm. And he loves it. He loves it. Okay. He so he has an interesting and unusual job and he loves it. So do you agree with this? ¿Están de acuerdo con esto? He has an interesting and unusual job. Yes? No? Is it interesting? Yes, interesting. Mm, okay. Unusual. Mm, unusual. So that's unusual. 
Uh, he takes photograph. Uh, he lights on the ground. Se acuesta en el suelo para ver ahí. Uh, well, with his camera. And La foto perfecta. And, mm -hmm. The ants and other uh, bugs often buy him, but that doesn't stop him. He has an interesting and unusual job, and he loves it. Okay, so now I need you to identify the verbs that we have been checking in this paragraph. Verbs in the simple present tense. So can you identify? ¿Cuáles son los verbos que resaltan ahí? So can you Takes. tell me? Uh -huh. uh, Daniel, repeat it, please. Uh, Takes. Take. Study. Watch. Okay. It could rest, Takes. go, sleep, Studies. buy, take, watches, leave, wait, leave, buy, buy, it work, rest, buy, sleep, okay, Love. fight, take, buy, lie, lies, wait, no, 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 wait, yeah, first, wait, yeah. oh, yeah. Bite, bite, has, ah, okay, has, right, has, and, love. and love, right, so, um, I think that's the order, watch, mm, watch, did we add it, yes, watches, okay, so let's see, uh, what loves, meaning, love, amar, okay, takes, tomar, tomar, okay, studies, Estudiar. Watches. Watches. Ver, observar. Ver, observar. Ok. Goes. Ir. 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 Comer. Work. Trabajar. Rest. Descansar. Sleep. Dormir. Fight. Pelear. Pelear. Don't fight. Ok. Lies. Mentir. Mm, ya ser. Recostarse. Ya. Yeah, and like too. Okay, in este caso, lies. He lies on the ground. Se recuesta. Oh. Uh, he lies on the ground. Oh, ya se. Okay, it's more de ubicarse en el suelo, right? Wait. Esperar. Bite. Morder. Morder. Has. Has. And the last one, has. Tener. Tener. Okay, so now let's practice this a little bit. Loves, loves, loves. takes, takes, studies, studies, watches, watches. Okay, something like this. Watches, watches, watches. watches. goes, goes, eat, eat, work, work, work. Excellent. Work. Well done. Rest. Rest. Sleep. Sleep. Fight. Fight. Lies. Lies. Wait. 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 Bite. Bite. Has. Has. And love. 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 Okay. So now let's continue. We have some more things to do over here. Look at this. So now, um, so let me scroll it down. Okay. So read the list of the verbs in the chart. Who does each action? Okay. Check a uh, ticket. Okay. So use a tick to correct that. Uh, verbs. Dr. Moffat. So we have to read the list of verbs in the chart. And then we have to identify who does each action. Uh, Dr. Moffat. Action. Studies. Dr. Moffat or ants? Dr. Moffat. Okay, so let me see if I can do this. Excellent, I can. Okay, uh, fight. Ants. Ants, okay. Wait. Dr. Moffat. Dr. Moffat. Bite. Ants. Okay, excellent. So now let's continue. Okay, so look at this. Complete the exercises to learn about the grammar in this lesson. Look at the list of verbs in exercise number two, then find other verbs in the article from exercise one. Dr. Moffat goes, or oh, you have to identify Dr. Moffat activities. For example, uh, we have uh, an action uh, where the verb goes, is used so you have to um add some more right goes studies uh, i don't know 
wait and the ends eat mm -hmm, eat bite for example so you have to then you have to write the verbs sample um dr Murphy, wait can you mention the rest of the activities that he does wait what watches watches okay take uh -huh. uh, has. He okay. has. Has. No. Okay, so listen up. I'm going to send you the screenshot. Le voy a enviar la foto para que ustedes vayan viendo el reading y me digan que verbos son los que vamos a ir ubicando ahí. Okay, so look at this. So here you have it. Second, hold on a second. So there you have it. Y se les envía por el meeting chat. Yeah, okay, so Dr. Um, okay, Dr. Moffitt, Dr. Moffitt, verbs. So we have the weights. Studies. Studies, okay, studies. What? Watches. Okay, what else? Takes. Takes. Lies. Lies. Okay. Loves. Wait. Love. Love. Loves. Okay. Do we have some more? Tenemos más? Ha has. Has. Mm. What does he have? Ah, wait. Mm, I already have it. Ya está. Oh, yes. Bye. Sorry. Estar. Ah, no, ya está. It's a, it, yeah, it's Bye. a. Trabaja. Ah, work. works. Okay, works. Work. What else? That's it? Eh. Eso es todo? Yes. Okay, how about ants? Todo. Verbs, activities? Uh, it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> work. Work. Mm, okay. Work. Rest. 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 Bite. Bite. Sleep. 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 Fight. Sleep. Sleep. Fight. Fight. Do you have some more? I must. No. No. That's all. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna skip that because I, I think that's a little bit difficult to observe that. Okay, so now let's continue. We're gonna be checking these back again. Simple present affirmative statements. Um, well, as you have noticed through the reading, we have observed that during this reading, you have a, a structure, right? For all of the sentences shown, uh, you need a subject, you need a verb, right? In order to express a complete thought. Entonces, para mostrar o dar un, una oración, para hacer una oración, para dar un sentido a algo, utilizamos las afirm oraciones afirmativas. So what do you need? Sub you work every day. You work every day. We work every day. You, they, and Tom and Sue. También puede ser reemplazado por los nombres de estas personas. So just remember that the subject pronouns replace, right? They replace the nouns. Entonces, los subject pronouns reemplazan a los, eh, el sujeto. And look at this. But you have noticed two things right in here that in some verbs you have the just uh, the base form without any change and you have a, a, a different form of the verb with when you, you talk about when you use a third person it, it means he she it right or my brother so in this case you are the nest and we're going to be checking that you are the nest to uh, the verb Entonces, ahí notamos una pequeña diferencia cuando utilizamos tercera persona, right? So you modify the verb. So now let's continue. 
end. Let's analyze the usages for this. Um, let's see, Dora. Dora, can you read the first use? Primer uso, Dora. Use the simple present to talk about habits, habits or routines, 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 schedules, schedules. And, and facts. Okay, so this is the first uh, thing that we need to consider: habitos, rutinas, um, actividades programadas. Okay, and facts. So what's fa what's a fact? What's that? Un hecho. Vamos a decir algo que tiene una evidencia, una evidencia. Okay. Example, look at this. Habit or routine. I exercise every day. Schedule, una programación, una actividad calendarizada. She starts work at eight. Fact, un hecho. It rains a lot in April. Is it true or false? Llueve demasiado en abril. What do you think? Okay, so now let's continue with the second one. Uh, help us with the second one, please. Um, let me see. Jonathan. Jonathan. Activate your microphone, Jonathan. See where is Johnny then? Okay, help us, uh, please, Johnny. Number uh, two. As to the verb for he, she, it, and singular subject. Okay, examples. He drives to work. She works in an office. The box opens at 9 a.m. A.m., okay. A.m. Okay, so to most of the verse, we just add S and um, let's say to the verb for he, she, it, and singular subject. He drives, she works, the bank opens. So that happens for most of the verbs. Entonces, para la mayor parte de los verbos, solamente agregamos S cuando nuestro sujeto es singular o es tercera persona. Entonces puede ser que acá, por ejemplo, the bank. ¿Cuál pronombre podría sustituir the bank? It, ¿verdad? It opens at 9 a.m. So it doesn't matter if, if you see or you if you observe the noun, but if it's singular, remember that you have to modify that. No importa si acá está el pronombre, o está el sustantivo, lo que importa es que si es singular, nosotros tenemos que hacer esa modificación en nuestras oraciones afirmativas con tercera persona. Entonces, esta es la regla más común que agregamos S a los verbos. So now, let's continue with uh, this, uh, the next point that we have, number three. Calvin, help us. <coughs> Do not pat be in front and another verb in the simple present. Okay, interesting. He works at a bank. He is work at a bank. So we never combine a verb to be with the simple present. Um, um yeah, we don't we don't combine these two things. We don't combine any other verb with verb to be in this case, in the simple present. So ahí no combinamos el verbo to be con cualquier otro verbo en el presente simple. A menos que sea presente progresivo, right? He is work, it's not possible. He is working, it's possible. Entonces ahí tendría que ser un participio en ese caso, sí, ¿verdad? Ahí sí. But you never do that. Okay, so now let's continue. I'm going to send you this chart. And we continue with some more things related to the third, to this, okay? Circle the correct form of the verb to complete each sentence. Okay, help me with this. Number one, number one. What do you think? Number one, the example says, Dr. Moffat loves his job. Number two, which is the correct form? What do you think? ¿Qué opinan ahí? ¿Cuál es la forma correcta? Loves. 
Number two. He studies. And he studies. Okay. Study or studies? Studies. Okay. Number three. A salesperson. Ideas? What do you think, guys? A salesperson. A sales. Product for a company. Sales. Okay. You and Anita. Work. You and Anita work. Work. Okay. On, when, on weekend. Nurses. Helps people. Helps or helps? Helps. 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 Mm, I heard uh, I heard two things. Help, help, help. and helps. Help. Help. Why? Help. Because this help. is a plural. plural. Mm -hmm. Because this is a plural. Number six. We write or we write. We write. Write. Okay. Science books. Number seven. Our, our office. office. Closes. Oh. Okay. Closes. What time? 7 at 7 p.m. Okay. At 7 p.m. Number at eight. She takes. Okay. Number nine. You walk. You walk, you walk, walk to work every day. every day. Number 10. It starts. I don't see. Okay, it starts. Ah, okay. I start or I start? I, I start. I start. Okay, so it's this one, right? I, I start work at I don't watch. 8 a.m. every morning. Okay, perfect. So that's good. That's good. That's good for us. Let's see. Okay, so now it's your turn and we're gonna have a short time in order to uh, think about, about three activities that you do often. And we're, you're gonna share your sentences with us, right? With the class. Example, I study, I play games, I talk with my friends. Maria studies, she plays games, she talks with her friends. Okay, so now, now uh, I'm going to assign you to work in the breakout rooms and think about three activities that you normally do or well you can mention some more okay let's see an example uh, daniel daniel can you tell me what are some activities that you often do i study i play games i talk with my friends Okay, listen, Daniel studies, Daniel play games, plays games, and Daniel talks with his friends, okay? So that's what you have to do, to talk about some of your activities. Entonces vamos a hablar um, de algunas actividades que ustedes hacen, right? Three activities. So I'm going to give you some time so you can share with your classmate. So think about as many activities that you normally do. So just let me... Okay. okay. So you're going to use the following. Look at this, my weekly routine. So we have an example over here. Um, on Sunday, look at on Sunday, what are his activities? He does the laundry, he cooks. Uh, Monday, he cooks. On uh, Tuesday, he washes his car. On uh, Wednesday, he watches TV. On Thursday, he, um, he makes the dishes, right? And on Friday, he plays soccer, I think. And on Saturday, he goes fishing. So now you have to think about your activities. So I need you to create your uh, seven activities, right? So on Sundays, what do you do on Sundays? On Sundays, I, I study, for example. On... Um, well, that's not really attractive, <laughs> but <laughs> on Sundays, but that depends on you. On Sundays, I rest or I watch TV. On Monday, I work and I cook. On Tuesday, 
I I don't know. Tell me something that you do, uh, Johnny. Wh what do you do on What do you do on Tuesday? Um, I do, do the do? work. Okay. What do you do? Do you work? Okay, on Tuesday. Yes. Okay. Look at this on Tuesday. I work. So now you have to think about the activities that you do during the week. On Monday, Monday, what do we do on Monday? On Monday, I, uh, let's say, cook. I cook. I cook. Mm -hmm. yeah. On Wednesday, what do you do on Wednesday? Any activity? I watch TV. I watch TV. Okay, I watch TV. And you continue in that way. Y así continuamos eh, de esa misma manera. Pueden ser relacionadas estas que están acá. Or you, you may think, you may use the rest that we started at the beginning. O pueden utilizar las que estudiamos al principio. Okay, so that's not a problem. So now, start thinking. Remember to ask your classmate, what do you do? Daniel, what do you do? Oh, on Sundays I do the laundry, on Monday I cook, on Tuesday I work, and on Wednesday I watch TV. So I need you to create your own sentences using the seven days of the week, right? So you, you're going to have seven sentences at the end. Entonces son siete oraciones al final, hablando de las actividades que hacen eh, cada día. So are you ready? So I'm going to assign you to work in the breakup rooms. Ready? Yes. Okay. Just give me some seconds, okay? Remember, that's individually. You have to create your own. Tienen que crear cada quien su rutina, su rutina. Okay, so let me know if you got the invitation. No, it's an ACL can no receive invitation. Okay, Fatima, hello, Fatima. Me dice ahí si sí, teacher, ya no me pude, no me, no me, no me pude alcanzar a conectar en el Ay, grupo. Vaya. Ahorita le envío, vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Eh, Gloria, Gloria, ¿puede ubicar ahí su nombre? Bueno, el nombre completo, por favor. Creo que solo dice Gloria. Eh, Jonathan. Okay, ahorita le incorporo. Hola, no la recibió. Fíjese que no me, o sea, no me deja darle a accesar, teacher. Ah, vale, se, me, se congela. Vamos ¿Perdón? A hacer, se congela la pantalla. Sí. Vale, vamos a hacer algo. Voy a traer acá a... Um, Vamos a ver quién está allá. Ok, eh, voy a traer a Calvin ¿no? para que practique con usted. Parece si que era Calvin. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Sí, chora. Hola, hola, dígame. Me voy a desconectar un momento la llamada, yo regreso. Pues. De acuerdo. A la, a la clase. Ok.
first day? Tuesday on I I said I work on yes. work. Wednesday I Puede ser I clean there, ¿verdad? De, de hacer mm. limpieza. Pues sí. I clean them on the Me salí. Ya, ya terminó. No. ¿Mm? No. First day. Pero solo es, este, solo es el verbo. Sí. No hay que hacer oración. Pues podría ponerles, que tengo una. ¿Se como puede de... ver? Sí, sí. Vaya, ya, ya terminé. A ver si gusta. Te digo. Digamos, on Monday I work. On Tuesday I work. Tuesday. No, Tuesday es miércoles. Wednesday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Tuesday. I work and a student. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice cuidar, bebé? Eh, cuidar. Okay. cuidar. A baby. Eh. Ay, baby. No, sé. no sé cómo se dice cuidar. Ahorita. Mira, no importa. Automáticamente ven. Take care. Take care uh -huh, of my baby. Take care of my baby. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, automáticamente vengo y me lo entregan así como en la puerta de atrás. Aquí está su paquete. <laughs> <laughs> este. And, pero ve. Reviso los cuadernos de mi Grande. No sé cómo podría ponerlo. Mm. Review. Review with books. The books of my son. The, my son. Uh -huh. Okay. And yeah. 
Estuvo, estuvo. Eh, quiero ver qué otra Friday. cosa. Friday. Work. Student. Study. De vez en cuando, antes de estudiar, salía a comer. Eh, I go to... I go to... I go to the eat. restaurant. Mm -hmm. I go to eat the restaurant, restaurant, uh -huh. y ya, y de el sábado, que es, Saturday. what do you do on Saturday? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice llevar a mi hijo a Catequí? Sí. Llevar, eh. <laughs> Llevar a tu hijo a la iglesia. ¿no? Ajá, digamos a la iglesia, algo así. Al uh, I go to the church <laughs> with my baby. Ajá, y cuidar al bebé. Eh, solamente. Es, es descansar. And you, what do you do? And... The week so, on Sunday, uh, I laundry uh, all my my clothes, and Monday um, I work, and then I study, and and I play with my cell phone. Um, Monday, Thursday. Um, I work early. Otra vez entonces. Okay. Vaya, voy. Mm -hmm. um, on Sundays, I go to the church. On Monday, I work. On Thursday, I go to the gym. On Wednesday, I go to the cinema. On Thursday, I read books. On Friday, I meet with my friends. On Saturday, I clean the house. Okay. Voy en tercera persona. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, on Sundays, Daniel goes to the church. On Monday, Daniel works. On Thursday, Daniel goes to the gym. On Wednesday, Daniel goes to the cinema. On Thursday, Daniel reads books. On Friday, Daniel meets with your friends. On Saturday, Daniel cleans the house. Okay, my job. Monday, I go to work. Thursday I have English class. Wednesday I read a book. Thursday I cook the dinner. Friday I play basketball. Saturday I go to dance. Sunday I sleep all day. Hoy en tercera persona. Sería Monday, Johnny goes to work. Thursday, Johnny has English class. Wednesday, Johnny reads a book. Thursday, Johnny oh, cooks sorry. the I'm dinner. Sorry, Daniel, to interrupt. Hola. On Saturday. On yes. Saturday. Uh -huh. On Monday, on Saturday, on Sunday. In ca ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Johnny yeah. on Friday, he plays basketball. Johnny on Saturday, goes to dance. Johnny on Sunday sleeps all day. Uh -huh. So you, you can start with the um, preposition at the beginning. On Saturday, um, I play video games. On Saturday, he plays video games. Or um, you can say he plays video games on Saturday. Podría ir al inicio, el on Saturday, o podría ir al final. On Saturday, I play video games. I play video uh -huh. games on Saturday. On Saturday, uh -huh. Johnny plays video games. Johnny plays video games on Saturday. 
Okay. Continue, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bueno, entonces ya otra vez empezamos, eh, Johnny. Uh, okay. Si quiere mejor de un solo en tercera persona, lo que cada quien tiene anot anotado para. Ok. Um, on Sundays, Daniel goes to church. On Monday, Daniel works. On Tuesday, Daniel goes to the gym. On Wednesday, Daniel goes to the cinema. On Thursday, Daniel reads books. On Friday, Daniel meets with your friends. On Saturday, Daniel cleans the house. Okay. <clears throat> On Monday, Johnny goes to work. On Tuesday, Johnny has English class. On Wednesday, Johnny reads a book. On Thursday, Johnny cooks the dinner. Um, Friday, Johnny plays basketball. On <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. So now let's see how well you did it. So now I'm gonna ask you about your routines. So now I wanna listen about your routines. So can you mention the activities that you do during the week, your weekly routine? Let's see, Ingrid, let's start with you, Ingrid. Ah, she's a listener today. Let's see, Carmen. Hi, Carmen, you here? Hi. Can you tell me a little bit about your weekly routine? Uh, On Sundays, I? Tell me uh, about okay. your routines. Uh -huh. Díganme las rutinas que ustedes hicieron para toda la semana. Okay. Uh, on Monday, I go to the dark with my pet. Ah, okay. You take your dog for a walk. Take my dog for a walk. Okay. Pasear ahí el pet. Or you go along with him, right? With this dog. Continue, Carmen. Um, just say... I take, I practice sing. Okay, you practice singing. Mm -hmm. Singing, okay, continue. When, Wednesday, on Wednesday, I play soccer. Okay, excellent. Continue, 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 please, until uh, Saturday. On uh, Saturday, I take care of my plants. Ah, okay, you take care of your plants. How about Friday? Friday, what do you do on Friday? Me quedé hasta el viernes, picho. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nos saltamos al el sábado. <laughs> Thursday and Friday are <laughs> not have anything to um, do. I work. <laughs> on Friday, I play the piano. You play the piano. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes, um, let's see. Let's continue with anyone else. Um, anybody else? Christian, Christian, go ahead, Christian. Okay, teacher. And, and Sunday, uh, I laundry my clothes. And Monday, I do the laundry. I do the laundry. I do the laundry and my clothes and I do the laundry. And Monday, I work and then I, I study. Okay. 
and Thursday uh, I watch a series and Wednesday uh, I work and I go to visit my friends and Thursday uh, I work and uh, I, I listen to music okay. and Friday um, I work and um, but my dog, but my dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Saturday I slept and go and watch a movie. Okay, you sleep. I sleep. Sleep. Mm -hmm. I sleep and watch a movie. Okay, excellent. Well done. Let's see. Let's continue with um the next Daniel. Hi. On Monday, I go to work. On Tuesday, I have English class. Uh, on Wednesday, I read a book. On Thursday, I cook the dinner. On Friday, I play I play basketball. On Saturday, I go to dance. And on Sunday, I sleep. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Let's see, Johnny, could you read yours? Um, on, on Sunday, I go to church. On Monday, I work. On Tuesday, I go to the gym. On Wednesday, I go to the cinema. On Thursday, I read books. On Friday, I meet with my friends. On Saturday, I clean the house. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And let's see, Mario, Mario, help us. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Okay. Escuchar? Yes. Ok, este sería, permítame que no me encuentro. Oh, Hoy sí. Eh, sería de monte de este. Un monte. Ajá. De monte a. Un monte. Like to be the mo on monte a like to be at work. Okay. Eh, on Tuesday, on Tuesday, es verdad. Tuesday, mm -hmm. I like, eh, ¿cómo se diría relajado? Relaxed. Okay. On Tuesday, I like to relax. I'll relax. Okay. Eh, on Wednesday, eh, I like to be running. On Thursday, es verdad. Mm -hmm. Eh, I like sleep. Okay, I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. Oh, I okay, sleep. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And on Friday, I like to hit a lot. Y Saturday sería um, enjoy being with my family. Y on Sunday sería I like to party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, on Saturday, 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 Saturday. repeat. Uh -huh, can you repeat? Uh, I am, vaya, sería on, on Saturday, I enjoy being with my family. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay, I enjoy, I spend time with enjoy. my family. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... I like to relax, I sleep, I eat a lot. Okay, nice. Thank you. Mario, and we finish with, let me see who's the next. Uh, Kevin, Kevin. Okay. Uh, on Sunday, I cook the dinner. On Monday, I walk to work. In Wednesday, I watch TV and 
and Wednesday I go to the park, and Thursday I rest, and Thursday I work all day, you work and all Saturday day. Uh, I study. You study. Okay, thank you. So now, look at this. Uh, we will continue. Uh, we're going to just finish with the um, spelling of this with the grammar things related to this uh, simple present tense, right? Look at this. So now, I need your help in order to complete these exercises. Complete each sentence with the correct form of the verb being of the verb in parentheses, right? A zookeeper feed, fits animals. Computer programmers. What do you think? Computer programmers? Writes or write? Computer programmers, guys? Writes. Writes. Programmers. Computer programmers. Uh, ah, right. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Okay. Photograph photographers. Take. 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 Okay. How about a uh, four? A chef. Cooks. Cooks. And Cooks. a firefighter. Fights. Okay. Fights. Combate. Okay. Musicians. Play. 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 Awesome. A farmer. Works. 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 And a dancer. Dances. Dances. Okay, perfect. So now let's see. Um, we have some more things. And just to conclude with this part, we're gonna have we're gonna check the spelling rules. And um, besides that, we're gonna observe an extra reading. Simple present spelling rules, S and E S endings, right? Add S to most verbs. Example, close, closes. So these happen just with the uh, he she it, right? Singular uh, subjects. Okay, so add S to most verbs, examples, close, closes, dance, dances, exercise, exercises, feed, fits, love, loves. So we have a verb which finishes in vowel, you just add S, right? Open, opens, pay, uh, play, place, put, puts, stop, Stops, take, takes, write, writes, and work, works. Okay, second rule. Let's see, Johnny, can you read the second one? Add S to verbs ending in SH, CH, S, X, and C. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you, whenever you have a verb ending in these uh, final endings, you have to add ES. Cuando tenemos ahí verbos que terminan, tienen esas terminaciones, vamos a agregar ES. Example, wash, SH, washes. Teach, teaches. Dress, dresses. Dresses. Relax, relaxes. Bus, buses. buses. And number three, Daniel, please. And A to I and add S to verse ending in a consonant more plus, 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 plus Y. Y plus Y. Uh -huh, plus Y. Okay. Y. So we have to change this final uh, Y. Uh, for I, right? So you can see the consonant plus Y, you modify Y and you um, substitute that Y for I, and then you add ES, right? Carry, carries. Copy, copies. Study, studies. And we have an exception uh, whenever you have um, a vowel plus, cons plus Y, so you just add a S, right? Y ahí tenemos la excepción, vocal y griega, just S. And uh, consonant plus Y, I, E, S. Okay. So now I'm going to send you a screenshot so you can have that information. Questions so far? Preguntas, chicos. 
No questions. Okay, so now let's see how well you do it. Let's see. I'm gonna ask you for the correct spelling. Study, study, fish. Fishes. Fishes. Okay, fishes. Pass. Passes. Passes. Okay. Worry. Worry. Warriors. Can you spell it? Uh, yes. Yes. I yes. Okay. Flores. Flores. Okay. Bite. Bites. 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 Okay. Buy. But. Buys. Buys. Help. 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 Miss. Miss. Misses. 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 Fly. Flies. 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 I E S or uh, E S or what? Mm. Nice this way. No. Okay. Can you spell it? Can you spell it? Yes. 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 F L I I E S. Okay. Fix. It's fixes. Watch. 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 Like. Likes. 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 Pay. Pays. 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 Okay, so let's repeat it again. Study. Studies. Study. Fish. Study. Study. Fishes. Fishes. Pass. 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 Worry. Worries. Worry. Explore. Explore. Bite. 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 Buy. Buys. Help, helps, um, miss, misses, fly, flies, fix, fixes, fixes, watch, watches, like, likes, pay, and pays. Right? Okay. So now let's see. We have um, the following thing. Uh, we have some verbs which are irregular. For example, the verb do, go, and have. So for these, uh, in this case, for the third person, we need to modify it. They don't follow any role. They are irregular, so they have their own form. Entonces, ellos tienen su propia forma, no se acoplan a las reglas anteriores, ni es solamente... Los verbos hacen van y tienen irregular porque él, ella y esos... Okay. Singulares. En este caso, bueno, en este caso, estos tienen su propia forma, and we're going to learn them that way, right? Do, does, go, goes, and have, has, right? I do the dishes, he does dishes every day. You go to work, she goes to work. You have dinner at 6 a.m., it has dinner at 6 a.m. So they have their own form. The verbs uh, do go and have are irregular for he, she, eat and singular subject. Examples, um, Johnny, can you read the examples? She goes. She goes home at 6.30. He has a meeting at 2.30. Okay. John does the laundry uh, on Sunday night. Sunday night. Okay. So now look at this. Uh, we're going to finish with this and we're going to complete the following uh, reading. Complete the paragraph with the correct form of the verbs in parentheses. So I'm going to give you some time so you can do it with a classmate. Okay. So uh, get a screenshot, please. And I'm going to send you one, of course. Let me know when you're ready. So I have sent you one. Let me send me one. So you have to complete the reading with the correct form of the verbs. Okay. Okay, so join and join the breakout rooms and complete the reading. Complete the reading.
Yeah. Ah, okay. No hay explorar archivo Y por aquí lo tengo yo Ahí la envié ya en Whatsapp Le envié en Whatsapp No, pues no es algo. No, no, no ¿Qué se supone que vamos a hacer acá? A completar el el diálogo. Manuel. Lila. Tienen un estilo de vida ocupado. Manuel es médico. En un hospital. Trabaja por la noche. Así que él. Ah, va okay. a trabajar a las Por 7 p.m. Y... Ah, aquí y la tengo. Acá. Siguiente párrafo y, y voy, voy a escribir para... Ok. okay. Eh, Manuel en Lisa else has ah. two children. Allí sería con, con solo eh, ese se agregaría. How. Ahí son ellos, Manuela y Lila. Mm -hmm. Son ellos. Ahí no lleva, no llevaría ese, solo el have. Solo have. have. Ah, ok. Eh, how to have children. Two children. Lisa and Carla. Every morning they all Creo que ahí está. Porque sería el mismo caso también a ellos, ellas. Sí. Have breakfast together at Luis and Carla, ellos. Ajá. How? 7 a 13. Then Luis and Carla. Go a sería. Mm, sí, go. Yeah, go. 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 Ajá. go, correcto. Uh -huh. son, son ellos. Eh, tu to, to school en Lisa. En Lisa. Aquí, como así es, Lila, ella. Go. No, que es ella, Lila. es Chi. Go es. Chi, work. ajá. Go es. Aquí sí. Go es. Go es to work. Eh, Manuel. Uh, ¿Cómo es he? Sí, sería. Do, eh, do es. Do es. Dos. De diches. And de then. Diche, and, then, and then go to the. Eh, Voy pues ahí. Then. Go. Solo go. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go to bed. Carla. Johnny. Ah, Johnny. Um, Carla usually uh, does, does her homework. Does. Yes, those. Those, okay. Uh, at, at friend house in the afternoon. And Luis has, uh, no, uh, ¿Cuál es este? Has. 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 
has soccer practice. And Manuel get gets up at 4 p.m. At 6 p.m. He has... He has... Dinner with Lisa, Lila. Luis and Carla, after dinner, he goes... Angular. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, igual que he y she serían go ambas. ¿sale? Por la red Man. singular. Manuel and Lila also have or has. No. Um, Vaya, por ejemplo, uh, en aquí el Ben, Luis, en, en Carla, que es la 6, ahí, ahí sería la forma de go to school. Pero ya la verdad que todos llevan eso, todos llevan esa forma así. <risa> go to. Hola, chicos. Sí, hola. Preguntas. El auto <risa> Apareció. <risa> No quería ver. ¿Cómo se ya llama? Apareció. Dígame. Tiene, tiene una duda aquí. Tenemos una, una duda existencial. Ay, esa no es difícil responder. <risa> Dígame. Vamos a tratar. Vamos a ver cuál es. No. Teacher, ¿hay alguna regla en la que no se aplique o no se le agregue ES o S al verbo? Sí. Cuando va. Ay. ¿qué? Ah, vaya. Eh, cuando ustedes hacen el cambio, nosotros voy, voy a compartir yo aquí. Quiero ver dónde está. Bueno, me regreso acá. Es esto que teníamos aquí arribita, miren. Esto. O sea, tenemos las reglas de cuándo vamos a modificar ese verbo. Uh -huh. Modificamos el verbo. Esto ocurre cuando nosotros, en presente simple, utilizamos oraciones afirmativas, pero para referirnos a terceras personas, es decir, él, uh -huh. ella y it. Presente o, simple. Ajá, presente simple, oraciones afirmativas con tercera persona del singular, quiere decir él, ella o it. Third person singular. Entonces puede ser un he, puede ser un she, puede ser it, puede ser el banco, the bank. Entonces mientras sea un sustantivo o un sujeto singular, aplica la, aplica la regla que vamos a agregarle es, ies o solo es al verbo. Vemos un ejemplo, a third person, he walks. Esta es la regla más común, que agregamos uh -huh. ese a los verbos. ¿Cuál es otra regla? La otra regla es que si tengo una terminación de un verbo en sh, ch, s, x o z, le voy a agregar y ese, el significado del verbo es el mismo. Él camina, yo camino. Entonces, uh -huh. lo único que vamos cambiando es, esa, es, es modificando esa ter la terminación del verbo. Wash termina en SH. Entonces, como es tercera persona, tengo que agregarle S. Wash, uh -huh. washes. Ya, ya no me tiene que quedar así, sino que tengo que modificar. Tengo que modificar solo por el hecho de que es tercera persona. Entonces, uh -huh. Esa es la regla. Ahora, it, eh, otro verbo que tengamos ahí. Eh, por ejemplo, la tercera regla dice, si un verbo termina en consonante y, vamos a ver, consonante todas, excepto la vocal, ¿verdad? Aquí uh -huh. está el verbo, eh, eh, copiar, ¿verdad? Consonante P, Y. Tengo que modificar la Y por, la sustituyo por I y, y después agrego S. 
Entonces me quedaría copies. Copies. Este es solo un ejemplo. The bank. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo con otro verbo que termine en. Vamos a ver en X. Okay, the bank. Vamos a cambiar el, el sujeto. The mechanic fix. Entonces, el verbo fix. termina en X. Lo voy a hacer es agregar S, fixes. The mechanic uh -huh. fixes, fixes the car. Entonces, esas son las reglas que nosotros utilizamos con tercera persona del singular. Es decir, solamente voy a hablar de una persona, de él, ella o él. Y también puede ser eh, el mecánico, puede ser el gato, por ejemplo, de cat. Mientras sea singular, aplica la regla de cat, the door. Y cuando tenemos dos verbos, teacher, en una oración, dos verbos separados por ya sea tú o, o la letra A, sample, así como sale en el párrafo, que dice tal y tal, go to. Word, por ejemplo. O eh, sería el párrafo que teníamos ahí. ¿Y cuál sería vale. el número? Um, casi todas tienen esa. Por es ejemplo, el bueno. la dos tiene ¿El esa, esa forma. Pero... Veamos. Sí. Manuel. Sí. Sohi. Ah, vaya, pero tenemos esa excepción, ¿verdad? cuando tenemos verbos irregulares, esos verbos irregulares solamente son do, go y, y have. Y have. Oh, have, have, have. En el caso de ellos tenemos que poner da, si es tercera persona, si es eh, tercera persona, goes, si es tercera persona, eh, has. Vaya, en este pero... caso, ajá, dime. Ajá, la... La duda es cuando están los, digamos, si es una tercera persona, pero tenemos esa estructura de eh, ahí un verbo separado por, en el caso, tú. Y el verbo sería, uh, sustituir sería el go, ¿verdad? Exacto. Go, ese es... Pero. Uh -huh. Vaya, este, este, esto se llama infinitivo. Ajá. Chicos, tú. Work. Siempre siempre se aplica. Mm. Ahí está el sujeto, verbo, y este sería un infinitivo. Pero en el infinitivo, en este caso, eh, está indicando, no es el ver, no está indicando la acción principal de, de tu oración. Tu uh -huh. verbo principal es eh, el que va después del sujeto. He goes. ¿A qué, uh -huh. ¿a qué va? Es como, uh, es parte del complemento o un complemento objeto. ¿A qué va? Okay. A trabajar. ¿Qué es lo que hace? ¿A qué va? A trabajar. Ah, se toma como comprendo, no como verbo. Exacto, oh. no, es, no es el verbo. Esa es una forma en infinitivo que acá tiene una función de, de, de complemento, objeto. No. Object. Objective. Uh -huh, porque okay. no podría, incluso, vaya, digamos, tampoco podría tener una oración así, he goes work, porque tendría uh -huh. dos verbos. Entonces acá meramente a esto le llamamos infinitivo, ese es un infinitivo y que tiene una ah. función de objeto, eh, si, nos seguimos, si nos basamos en la estructura que utilizamos de presente simple que es sujeto, uh -huh. verbo, objeto o, o complemento como le llamamos a veces uh -huh. Ajá, cuando nos referimos a objeto es eh, qué es lo que qué, qué es lo que digamos, quién es que recibe la acción del verbo o qué ¿Qué es lo que es afectado por el verbo principal? ¿Él va a qué? Uh -huh. A trabajar en este caso. Sería sí. parte del complemento, pero uh -huh, aquí sería un, un infinitivo. Ok. Ah. Ya resolvió mi duda, que lo podamos hacer de otra cosa. <risa> no, aquí solo el verbo principal es el que van cambiando. Uh -huh. She goes. Solamente sí, sí, sí. tienen que identificar el, el sujeto, si es singular o plural, y de eso depende uh -huh. si ponen ahí, si cambian los verbos o no. Por ejemplo, el número Hola. cuatro, Manuel en Lila, Olso, sería have o has. Sería. Ha. Uh -huh. Sería have. Uh -huh. 
porque tenemos un sujeto plural. Entonces, si es como tenemos... el de, el ¿verdad? Es el de, exacto. Por eso es que nosotros decíamos uh -huh. lo anterior. Si es oh. tercera persona el singular o un sujeto singular, que, que es básicamente lo mismo. Pero no necesariamente puede decir she, puede decir Marta. Marta goes. Entonces no necesariamente va a decir she. ¿verdad? Mientras sea un sujeto singular, puede aplicar a hacer las modificaciones a los verbos. Vale. Ok. Excelente. Ya terminaron, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Ah? Ya casi termino. <risa> ok. Gracias, okay, you're Thank you, thanks, thanks. Ok. Sí. Ah, ya no está mal. Ahí está. Sí, ya va a ser. Go. La cuatro también. Tengo más. Have. La quinta have, la sexta go, la siete go. Pero la oh. mayoría es go. The go es correcto. La siete go también, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. So... Ajá. Ya no va. ¿Y la ocho? Das. La tengo yo. Das. Ok. Bueno. And there we go. La 10. A ver, ¿qué nos dice? La 10. Das, la tengo yo. Ah, pues sí, la tengo bien. La 11. Como has. Has. Sí, también, también. La 12 también. Has. He has a dinner with Lila. Tiene una cena. Con... Y la 13 sí es go, ¿verdad? Que yo la tengo como go también. Sí, un go. Ah, pues sí. Es que, pero la mayoría son go. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está en tercera persona. Y la 14 la tengo como half. Ahí sí, no sé. Me, me guía según el ejemplo de la 1. Bueno. Vamos a la clase. A la sala. Okay. Vamos. Eh, pero no aparece. Ahí está. Creo que no salimos antes de tiempo. Sí, quizá. Ahí está Johnny, está Ingrid. Hello, guys. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay, so let's see Hello, what teacher. you got for this. Um, paragraph number one. Let's see. Paragraph one, volunteer or victim. Christian, okay, Christian. <laughs> okay, Christian, please uh, read the Hello. first paragraph and the second one. Second thing. Until, yeah, sentence number two. He works. He works at night. Uh, so he goes to work at 7 p.m. and comes home at 7 a.m. His wife, Lila, works at, the, at a bank. Okay, perfect. Number three, uh, Mario. Eh, sería number three. She goes. She. Uh, she goes. Continue. To the world and hating. A.M. A.M. And comes home and fix PM. Sí. PM. They don't PM. They don't see each other. Each, each, each other. other. Each other a lot during the week. Okay. Number four, Daniel. Manuel and Lila all how to children. Luis and Carla. Every morning they all Continue, Daniel. Yeah. Every morning, morning they all have breakfast together at 7.30. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Continue. Then, Luisa. 
goes. Then Lisa and Carla. Goes. Mm, okay. Lisa, Luis and Carla. Sorry, Luis and Carla. Singular or plural? Uh, what do you think? Um, Here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, Luis and Carla. Singular. Yes. The Luis and Carla goes Go. to school and Lila. Okay, hold on. Go. Luis and Carla, go. It's a plural yeah, subject. Go. Luis and Carla, they. Uh -huh. They, go. Uh -huh, because we're joining the subjects with an N. Entonces ahí tenemos un sujeto plural que está unido por este N. Mm. Luis y Carla, es decir, ellas. Uh -huh. They, entonces ahora aquí, ¿cómo nos quedaría? They go. They go. To school. Okay. Go and Lila. And Lila? Oh. Goes. Okay. And Go. Lila goes to work. Let's see. That's Johnny, continue. Manu, Manuel? Uh, Manuel da those the dishes and, the, and then go to bed. Okay. Carla, uh -huh. usual. Okay. And then goes uh -huh, to bed. Uh, say, yes. Okay. Continue, continue, Johnny. Carla? Carla usually does her homework at okay. a friend's house in the afternoon. Okay. Thank you, Johnny. Let's see. Fernando, help us. And Luis? And Luis uh, have... Okay, have or has? Uh, has, has, excuse me. Has, right? It's has. That he, okay. he. Soccer, Soccer practice. practice. Continue. Man, 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 man. Manuel get up at 4 p.m. Gets up. Gets up. Gets up. Gets up. Mm -hmm. At 4, 4 p.m. Okay. At 6 p.m. He... Has okay dinner with Lisa. Okay, thank you. With uh, Lila, Luis, and Carla. Kevin. After. 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 Dinner. After dinner, the goes. He goes. To work. He goes. He goes. To work. To work. And the last one, Manuel and Lila. Manuel and Lila have. A busy schedule. 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 Uh -huh, or schedule. Schedule. Okay. A schedule during the week, but on weekends, they relax. Okay. Listen, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Let me see. Who's fighting? Okay. I'm going to pass the attendance list and um, just say present, right? Okay, Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Calvin, no sé si regresó Calvin. Bueno, Calvin, Calvin. Okay, Carmen Amada López Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Cristian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar de Castellón. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martínez Escobar. Present. Thank you, Jonathan. José Carlos López Alas. Okay. 
José Efraín Ramírez. Ok. Jocelyn Marleni Mengíbar Álvarez. Kevin Alonso Lobato Ibarra. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Noé Aníbal González. Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. We will Oscar today. Okay, William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. So um, just a reminder that uh, please access to the platform and continue with your assignments. No sé si alguien ha tenido dificultades con alguna actividad de la plataforma o si ya están todos al día. Eh, yo tengo una teacher, pero no sé si es porque las oraciones las hice mal, que son tres de la sexta tarea. Ah, ok, la vamos a revisar entonces. ¿Y alguna otra duda, chicos? So, how much? Todo bien dicho. Ok, so that's all for today, guys. So, I'll see you next class. So, that's going to be tomorrow. Entonces, nos vemos el día de mañana, chicos. So, have a great night. Ok. Thank you. Okay. Thank bye you. bye. Thank see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, ahorita vemos la actividad número 6. Es la primera actividad de la semana 2. Vamos a ver. Mm, ok, sí, ya la veo. Vamos a ver. ¿Es esta, Carmen? En esta, en esta lo único que va a hacer es ordenar la oración. I sleep at night. Punto. Full stop. No sé si así las ha ido haciendo. He works in a factory. Full stop. Así. Uh, activate your microphone. Está apagado el micrófono. Eh, disculpe, esas dos están bien, esas me salieron bien, las otras sí que no. Solo quería saber si yo las he escrito mal, porque va en la tercera. Eh, you go to the cinema. Okay. ¿Y la cuatro? Eh, en la cuatro le escribí. She speaks don't. She doesn't. Portuguese. Ah, she, she doesn't. doesn't... Uh -huh. She doesn't speak Portuguese. Uh, okay. Es negativa esta. Uh, 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 el sujeto auxiliar y la negación, el verbo principal y lo que no habla ahora. Vamos a ver. Y la cinco. ¿Y la cinco cómo la ve? We. We don't uh -huh. use a computer. Y me la tira mala. Ah, perdón. Y ahorita vamos a ver. We don't use computer. Y les agregó punto final. Sí, tiene. Vamos a ver. Ahí. ¿Qué es? Revise nuevamente qué es lo que tienen ahí. Tal vez alguna letrita o tal vez el apóstrofe o algún espacio bueno. adicional. Igual, fíjese. Eh, ya le, es que. Uh -huh. O no va a cargar sé, la, ajá, la página, ¿verdad? Sí, puede ser. Pero, pero que yo creería que, que es algún espacio puede ser algún espacio o una letra que haga falta o el punto si no uh -huh. ya voy a ver y la voy a cargar dicho tal vez puede ser el apóstrofe también porque uh -huh. ay, aquí me acepta este pero hay otro parecido que no lo acepta eh, creería que no no lo he probado pero hay otro a ver es Ajá, este, esto, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Eso la... tiene que ser. Vaya, por El ejemplo, apóstrofe. aquí cambié, ubiqué este, y eso nada más lo acepta esas comillas. Tiene que ser el uh -huh. apóstrofe que está en el signo de interrogación, 
este, para cerrar ahí. Ok, teacher. Yo creería que eso es. No sé, Ajá. verifique nuevamente. Ya voy a ver ahorita. Quizás sí, muchos espacios le había dado, por eso era. Ah, sí, los espacios está bien. Quizás en eso vamos a ver ahora. Cabal, esos son los espacios, son teacher. Y los, Ay, los apóstrofes. Uh -huh. Ajá, Yo lo voy a hacer entonces. De acuerdo, Carmen. Perfecto, nos Muchísimas vemos. Muchísimas gracias, teacher. Ok, bye bye. Good, Good night. night.